Hey Scorpio, what's going on? I hope you're super well. Um, my name is Madam Butterfly and we're going to do a love reading for March. We're going to take a little nosy and see what your person's up to. Um, you are so welcome here Scorpio. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out the reading. I appreciate it so much. And if you feel like it resonates with you and you enjoy it, you know, and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that so much Scorpio. So let's see what is going on with your post on. <clears throat> okay, so they're showing up as the hermit, could be dealing with a Virgo, but this person's kind of taking some time out at the moment to reflect. You have the Knight of Pentacles here. That's interesting. Okay, let's see what else is going on for them. You could definitely be dealing with a Virgo here. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn. Okay. This person's like finding things out. They're like, um, they're gaining knowledge or they're like gaining knowledge about themselves or they're gaining knowledge about past situations. They're becoming enlightened basically. Person's going through like a period of enlightenment. You have the Queen of Wands here. So they're getting more confident. Like this person is learning how to get more confident. They're also, there's something here about this person learning to be more comfortable in the spotlight for some reason, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like they could have that in their chart somewhere. They were in a commitment in the past with this Ten of Pentacles energy. They were in some kind of long-term commitment in the past. They could have been married. They will be ready. The Three of Wands in the future here, Scorpio, they will be ready. I see this coming together. They're just very slow. <laughs> They're just really, really slow. That's what this Knight of Pentacles is. Um, you could be dealing with a Taurus, but you have the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. So they're kind of, they're taking some time to really kind of connect with their higher self, like to figure out like why it didn't work before. And I feel like they're finally coming to terms, like they're finally coming to a place of peace with why the, their previous connection didn't work or their previous connections. Could it, could, it could even be for some of them Scorpio, they were, they hoped there was someone they were gonna get into a long-term connection with and it didn't work. But there's something here about a long-term connection, but I see them being ready in the future. You know, with the Three of Wands turning their back on their past. Um, and, you know, coming towards you. It is a slow offer, but it will get there. Um, let's see what else. If the tower, okay, so this is like a whole, it's been a whole new change for this person, Scorpio. They've been, they've been going through a lot. Oh, they're really, they've really been very sad with the nine of swords. Like there's anxiety, there's depression, there's been sleepless nights. They've been really sad, I think, about this past connection here. Um, you know, with the tower here, a lot, it's, whatever happened with this past connection, like it really pulled the rug out from underneath them. It made them, like it changed everything for them. You know, it really changed everything for them. And you have that nine of swords there. So, you know, what's this? The high priestess seems to want to come out here. So they don't want to rush into this. They do feel like it's a very, very strong connection with you, but they don't want to rush. Um, Cause I think they don't want to screw it up. Because they're, they're trying to figure out what went wrong in their past connection. But they are finding out, you know, and they're coming back. I think they have been in a place of like quite bad depression or like sadness or anxiety or worry, but they're coming out of that. I think they've really been looking at themselves. And this is the reason, like, they don't want to rush into it because they want it to work this time with you, Scorpio. They want this to work. They're also not entirely sure that you want this.
They do suffer from a little bit of lack of self-confidence here because of what happened in their past. I feel like this is someone you already know. Um, because I feel like this is like a re they're, they're hoping for a reconciliation or like a reunion. So maybe you guys met, I don't know, maybe you guys met like a, I don't know, a few months ago or a year ago or something and it never came together because this person needed time, but they're hoping for a reunion or a re reconciliation with you because they want to move on. See the judgment here, they want to move on, like they're done with the past, you know, they, they want to move on. They're ready, they're ready, like they're, with the judgment, they're like closing down, um, they're like tying up loose ends, right, before they close down the cycle. The camera just went to 555, five, five. <laughs> so huge changes. They're wanting this change, like they're ready for it. And one for the outcome, please. Yeah, the Knight of Wands. This will happen quite fast when it does happen. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo for some of you. There's quite heavy Leo energy in this reading. It's also quite heavy Earth energy though. You have a little bit of Aries here too. But yeah, the Knight of Wands. They're going to be ready very soon is what I would say. And when it does happen, it will come in quite fast. The Knight of Wands. He's not as fast as the Knight of Swords. It's definitely someone who they've kind of had to build themselves up to this. Like it's it's a bold move for this person. They're learning. Yeah, like with the Knight of Pentacles, like it's been really slow going. But once they decide, like once they build up the courage and the confidence to do it, you know, they're going to do it quite fast. They might have been dealing with someone in their past. Let me just clarify this, Queen of Wands. I feel like I just dropped those. Let me have it. Give me another. <laughs> give, me, give it to me again. I want to say though, for some of you, this is obviously not going to resonate for all of you, but with this Queen of Wands, I feel like they were involved with someone in the past who was very kind of attention seeking. Um, I feel like this person is not used to getting a lot of attention in a relationship. I feel like they were always the one who gave the other person attention and they were kind of, I don't know, like a sidekick <laughs> or something like this. Clarify that Queen of Wands because I feel like maybe they had an ending with this Queen of Wands. Um, you have the... I almost said the Pisces card, so maybe you're dealing with a Pisces. You have the Hanged Man and the Four of Pentacles here. So the reason that you're waiting is you're waiting for this person to open up, okay? They've been quite closed off. And it's to do with this past connection, whatever went down there. Yeah, there's like a leveling up going on with this person. This is the reason that it has been slow. I see it here with this Three of Pentacles, but you have the Queen of Wands, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Three of Pentacles. So they're kind of leveling up here. There was a lack of confidence with this person. Um, they also want to plan this. Whoever they are, they're a bit of a planner. Like they want it to go well with you. You know, they're really thinking about this. Um, and they're really with the Hierophant here, they're trying to be like more open to what the universe is bringing in for them. Because like I said, I do feel like this person is not used to being in the spotlight. I feel like maybe with you, they you give them a lot of attention or something and they're not used to it, is what I keep thinking here. But with the Emperor, there's like a leveling up. So if you're dealing with a masculine, this could be them stepping into their divine masculine, you know. Um, if it's you're dealing with a feminine, then they're just kind of leveling up, you know? Interesting. 
definitely going through a lot though Scorpio this person because I feel like even the, this past connection there may have been children involved like they may have been married I feel like they lived together I feel like it was like a long-term connection you know Yeah, that four of pentacles again. There is also with this person a little bit of kind of hyper independence, okay? Um, the queen of wands here. I feel like, all right. I feel like for some of you, there may have been, they may have got cheated on in the past. Whoever this is that you're dealing with here, they may have got cheated on in the past, all right? So they're, they're quite closed off now. Um, or they have been, there's a little bit of hyper independence here with the Queen of Wands, like, I don't need anyone, you know, you know that kind of, when you, you know when you get dumped or something happens and you get yourself into that position where you're like, I don't need anyone, I don't need love, I'm just going to drink and hang out with my friends, <laughs> bollocks to love, um, so there may be a little bit of that going on, but I feel like there may have been a third party involved in the reason that this person broke up, um, but the two of wands, like they're growing, okay? Because this happened to them, they're kind of having to step into like a new phase of themselves where they are more independent. Because there may have been a bit of codependency in this connection in the past. Like they may have relied very heavily on the other person to kind of get them through, <laughs> you know? Or like once this person left, they kind of almost didn't know who they were. You know, I feel like there's maybe a bit of that going on. All right, what would this person like to say to Scorpio, please? It's not what you think. So I don't know what you're thinking, Scorpio, but they're saying it's not that. They're always thinking about you. You're always on my mind. It's hard to hear that without hearing the Elvis song. <laughs> uh, what else, please? What else would this person like to say to Scorpio? Yeah, this person's been hurt in the past. Dealing with my issues. So they're saying I've been hurt in the past, but I am dealing with it. Something flipped over there, but it didn't fall. You also have money legal problems. So I feel like this might, because it didn't fall, but it flipped quickly. Like, That may be kind of a side thing for them, like they may be having money problems, but it's not the main reason they've not come forward, okay? But that may be like a by the by thing for this person. Yeah, they have a little bit of trust issues, okay? And one more. I see marriage and children with you. See, you're dealing with someone, they do want to be committed, like, I, you know, um, I think they would, and you have, I think you are amazing at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I do think you're dealing with someone who would very much like to be, like, that's who they are. They like to be in a commitment. They like to be settled. And you will get an offer here. Okay, I see it in the future coming in. They're nearly ready. Scorpio, advice messages for you. Take care of your body. So maybe you're not eating healthily. Maybe spirit saying, like, get your butt out and do some exercise before this person shows up. Um, maybe you're not sleeping enough, I don't know, but take care of your body. Feed it good things. You are very loved, Scorpio, you're very loved. So that could be, you know, they might be talking about this person or they might be talking about simply your guides you know and your angels are saying like you are so loved like we are here with we are here with you we are always with you we love you don't ever think that you're alone just because you're alone in the 3d doesn't mean that you're alone and remember the 3d is not reality right so you're never you're never alone you're constantly you basically you know if you're, if you're getting into the spirit world thing you have no privacy <laughs> basically they're going to be like always around you um, they just want you to know you're very loved, you're never alone. Okay, what else would you like Scorpio to know, please? Have faith, so keep the faith. Let's get a couple 
Well, more. Jeez. Oh, okay, what was that? Ignore the haters, keep going. So, Gemini had that, I think. Um, you might be feeling like you're getting a lot of. I don't know, like you're coming up against a lot of resistance or something at the moment, or you're letting go of a few people in your life, or there's just a lot of people, yeah, like, I don't know, trying to get up in your business, like, or trying to tell you what to do, or, you know, just sticking their oar in or something. Just ignore them and keep going. Especially for those of you who have maybe got yourselves into like a new exercise routine, or you're eating different, you're like you're eating better and you maybe, there's always those people, there shouldn't be, but there always is, you know, like even if you're at work or something and you, you know, you bring in a bag of grapes, God forbid, right, instead of crisps or something and people are like, oh, trying to lose weight, are we? Trying to be better, are we? Trying to better ourselves, are we? Mm -hmm. And like being snarky about it, do you know what I mean? Just ignore them and keep doing it. Because the only reason that they're being snarky is they're jealous they don't have the discipline to do it. Right? <laughs> okay, what else for Scorpio, please? Make sure you're making time to rest. Okay, so that could be a thing with your body as well. Like maybe you're not sleeping enough, maybe you're not resting enough and you have your guides are proud of you. So I usually take that to mean that you've achieved something, like you've come to a really good place, or you're about to get there, you've passed some kind of test, because they're proud of you for what you're doing, and you have know that this will work out for you. So don't hope, no, because hoping is different from knowing, right? Hoping is like, leaves that wiggle room for like, oh, it's not gonna happen, but when you know, the universe kind of has to shimmy things around, right? So I hope that was helpful, Scorpio. Um, many, many thanks for watching. You know, if it resonated with you and you enjoyed it and you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that a lot. Many blessings, Scorpio. Love and light.